this is the taro plant eh? taro this is in bahasa called keladi in my house so yeah, i planted the single uh, corm eh? the single corm that means that this is the mother plant so i planted that one and from there you can see already produced so many cormel this is called cormel the new uh, how we, we can also say the seedling eh? so you can see how many one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen eh? is still growing new so many so this is the way that we can easily multiply the number of seedlings from just from on mother plant and uh, if we just give it more few days eh? when the if you see the mother plant is already fully mature then it tends to produce so many cormel that means the new seedling that is it looks like a sucker type so from the main mother root the side root and eh? this is called cormel so from there you can see this is a one this is you can see the another one is so many cormel here this is you can see another one so many is still there this is another one it's still uh, the the mother plant is it's still uh, so, soft and succulent so only few so when they tends to uh, die then they produce both so now uh, now i want to show you how we can separate from the mother cormel mother combs to the every single cormel so that means every single seedling that is uh, i want to show you and it will be very helpful for you and uh, the way we can produce uh, so many numbers of seedling that for transplanting in a new plant so then then I'm, I'm now showing you how to harvest and how to separate the every cormels with the new grown seedling okay so just now i want to show you how to harvest and how to separate the every cormels with seedling from the mother combs that is from the taro that is the kaladi so this is the polybex that i planted is a single corm inside that i bought from the market and uh, after uh, uh, conception the rest part that is with the uh, shoot so it's called top shoot eh? so top shoot i planted here and this uh, is about uh, uh, this is less than uh, one less than one year so now you can see how to do so you have to cut from all side as the, you need to open eh? because we cannot open it normally without cutting eh? so you can you can go through the base you can see so many roots is there so all these are terror roots so all these are terror roots so it's very nicely they have grown inside the polybex then whether you can remove the whole polybex or after that you could do better you can use some uh, knives or say other things just to make a system that you can open easily so just then one by one you can remove the soil but be careful that you should not hurt the taro inside like that just remove the soil on the one it's very compact due to so many roots so you can see this is the cormel so after that we can do what we can do you can even you can cut the uh, leaf from the stem and cut from here keeping just about one to two centimeter then you can retransplant and the new plant will grow from there and this one is edible we can eat this was connected with the mother plant eh? so that's broken from the mother plant i'm showing one by one so sometimes we can do like that it will be nicely separated so you can see every single corm they have produced you see so if you want to transfer that we can cut from here just about two inch then the major leaf we have to cut to reduce the transfer and the transpiration so this is one so this one you see is very small it's still growing the a new shoot from there this is here about four eh? you can see the four cormels this is acting as a, a main plant and from there they have already produced four cormels and every cormels they can be a single plant single seedling even including the mother eh? so you can if you remove that 
so this is four this is the so this is called the new mother so you can this is very small it's so better you just cut from the leaf here and here just keep the central leaf and transplant the single in one poly bag or in the main field so now unfortunately this is broken but it still can be used for the retransplanting so we can still have so many because for tra traro plantation is very little care is needed huh? even the fertilization also very little so you can see there's so many roots so like that so you can you see here you have produced another new another caramel is producing this one almost produce so if you want to use that one so the main system is you can remove the the new roots all these roots and after that you just keep about you just cut from here and the rest part we can eat just for so just I want to show you this cut for this like that for transplanting the processing for transplanting from here from here this one also we can cut but if you want to keep also can then we need a knife to cut from here then this one you transplant and the rest part we can consume so I just removed from the mother plant so you see you can cut from here for consumption purpose this one you transplant so you see so many roots so just remove the roots so this one also can be used the major part you can consume this one is very small so better we can just transplant the full because this is the connecting point with the mother plant and this is the last part still this is one growing this is another two is here this is so can be used consume the cormels eh? cormels these are all the cormels so you can cut from the base and transplant the top shoot and the rest part we can consume you know, the taro the the leaf we can eat the, the this succulent leaf can be eaten is very rich in calcium and vitamin c this the stem also can be eaten so all part all parts of the taro is edible and very rich in different types of minerals okay this is another you can see so you can remove the roots so almost bigger so you can cut from here just just cut from here if you're using a knife so just cut from here so you can transplant that on the rest for you can eat and this is the mother plant so this is another new they are still growing cormels so this is the mother root that i transplanted from there you can see this is the oldest the top shoot is still can visible here so this one this is the corma so from here this is very big so you cannot transplant the full so you have to cut from here eh? using a knife just cut from here then we can retransplant to regrow from there so this is the only one mother plant so from here now i have to count so this one can be retransplanted again so if you count this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve so this is the twelve seedling already grown and the rest you see you still have so many cormel so you see they have two five and two seven so you still have seven cormel that after a few days they will produce they will start germination so this will be another new seedling so you can imagine just from one plant how many seedling can be grown just less than one year so meaning is that we need to transport if you want to grow seedling we need to transplant in polybags 
so you have to wait about uh, six to seven months when you see the uh, the mother plant is going to mature then they start producing so many corms that is the cormels this this is mainly called the corm the side all the new this is called cormels so every single one is called cormels so from every cormels they produce new seedling so this is the way that we can multiply for transplanting purpose okay so hopefully these methods or the way i have tried to explain here it will be helpful to develop a or to build up a new uh, garden or new uh, uh, what is called the taro or kaladi to flutter plantation this is a very promising crop so though it is not so familiar in malaysia but hopefully very soon it can be a good crops only the uh, minor crops uh, as, as treating as a minor crops and only producing some ice creams and uh, some or what is called the uh, some other purposes but very limited but it can be a, a, a very high resource of carbohydrates because from here we can extract carbohydrate and stress as well okay so that's all from me about the kladi and the uh, new seedling production from there and uh, how it can develop that is multiplication of seedlings from just from a single mother okay that's all